Assalamu alaikum dear friends and seekers of knowledge, welcome back to our Crypto Academy. In the previous lesson we learned more about the concept of Zakat. Today's lesson is approaching the practical side of it, how to calculate Zakat on cryptocurrency holdings. And as you know, if you have any questions, always feel free to contact us on our social media channels or drop a message in the links below. Let's dive in. As we integrate modern forms of wealth and transactions into our lives, understanding how to apply timeless principles of zakat to these new assets is crucial, more than ever before. When is zakat due on cryptocurrency? Zakat becomes due on your cryptocurrency holdings after one lunar year of possession, provided that the value of these holdings reaches or exceeds the nisab. As you may know, nisab is the minimum amount of wealth that a Muslim must have before being obliged to pay zakat. In determining the nisab for cryptocurrencies, one must compare the value of their holdings to the current value of their gold or silver. Scholars may differ on which standard to apply, but traditionally the nisab is often determined by the value of 612.36 grams of silver or 87.48 grams of gold. You are encouraged to consult with knowledgeable scholars to understand which benchmark is most appropriate to use in the context of cryptocurrencies. Calculating Zakat Amount Once the nisab is ascertained and your holdings meet the threshold, calculating Zakat is straightforward. You are required to pay 2.5% of the total value of your cryptocurrency holdings. Given the volatility inherent to cryptocurrencies, consider the fluctuations in valuing your assets that may have experienced over the lunar year and calculate accordingly. It may be wise to take snapshots of your assets value at different times to ensure accurate calculation. Special cases to consider. Cryptocurrencies held for various purposes may necessitate different considerations. Investment. If you're holding cryptocurrencies as a long-term investment, zakat is due on the total holdings. Trading. For those actively trading cryptocurrencies, zakat is due on both the capital and the profit. Personal use. So cryptocurrencies held for personal use may not be subject to zakat, but this can vary and consulting a scholar is advice. Mind or earned cryptos. If you've mined or earned cryptocurrencies, zakat is due once you take possession and it reaches the nisab. Connecting the ancient wisdom of zakat with the modern sphere of cryptocurrency, we have to tread carefully with a spirit of reverence and responsibility. Engaging with our assets mindfully, we ensure not just our financial, but also our spiritual well-being. Thank you for joining this lesson and see you in our next one, taxation and reporting of cryptocurrency income and assets.